Hi everyone, Demetrius here back again with a new video. As you might have already heard, Notion has finally released their API, a feature that me as well as many other Notion fans have been waiting for years now because we can now finally start building workflow automations that interact with our Notion workspaces. I spent some time exploring the API and it definitely looks very promising. And what's really cool is that Integromat, my favorite workflow automation tool, has already released an app for it that pretty much features a module for all the API endpoints that Notion offers, which will help us automate tons of workflows. So really exciting stuff. Now in this video, we'll be building an automation that will allow me to retrieve the submissions of a form that I have on my website and add them to a Notion database. This is very useful if you have a form on your website for collecting leads or for allowing your customers to send you messages and you want to track and organize all the responses in Notion database so you and your team can easily have access to them. For this example, we'll be using a type form as the form app. Uh, you can sign up for a free account at uh, typeform.com and I will go ahead and create a simple form that will allow someone to submit a request to work with me directly on my website. This form will have a short text field to ask for the person's name, an email field where they can enter the email I can contact them on, and then I also want to have a multiple choice section where I'm going to list all the different services that I offer as a freelancer so my prospect can select which one they're interested in. Finally, I will include a long text field where they can just enter the requirements of the project. I'll call this project requirements. Great stuff. Now I will go ahead and share this form and I will actually choose the embed option because I want to add it to a website that I have right here. Just like that. So now if I open my website, as you can see, I can go in and fill out this form very easily. Great. Now I'm going to switch over to my Integromat account. For those of you who are new to my channel, Integromat is the no code workflow automation builder that I use in all my videos. And you can sign up for a free account at dimitriscamaritis.com forward slash Integromat. I will put the link in the description. And then once you sign up, you can go ahead and create a new scenario. A scenario is basically where your automation lives. This is where we define the entire workflow we want to automate. So my first goal with this automation is to retrieve the data that my prospect submits on the type form that I have on my website. To do this, I'm going to search for the type form app and then select the watch responses module. This is the module, or as I like to call it, the little program that will retrieve the data from every form response I receive. I'll click to add it to my scenario. And as you can see, this module also has an instant trigger. What this means is that as soon as my form receives a new response, my scenario will get executed, performing the automation that I will set up here. Now on my module configuration window, I need to go ahead and set up a webhook. I'm not going to go into detail on what a webhook is. I did an entire video on it, which I will link in the description. Feel free to check it out, but I will just go ahead and add a new one. I will enter my webhook name. This can be anything you want. And then I need to establish a new connection with my type form account. I will click this add button, enter a connection name of my choice. And then on this window that pops up, I will click accept. In order for this to work properly, make sure that you're already logged into your Typeform account. Perfect, my connection is now established. Now I will go ahead and select my form from the list. This is the form I created and I want to receive the responses of. And that's it, I will click save and then okay. Now let's go ahead and test this module alone to make sure it receives the data of my form once a new response is submitted. I will save the scenario and then right click on this module and choose the run once option to execute it. 
as you can see the module is waiting for a new form response so we'll head over to my website and submit a new response and as you can see my type for module has been successfully executed now if i click on this little bubble icon here as you can see i get all the data that this module has retrieved what i'm interested in is this mappable answers collection right here which features data elements with all the answers i received to the question fields i have in my form as you can see right here now my next goal is to get this data from here and add it to a database on my Notion workspace. To achieve this, I will first create the database. As you can see here, I have an empty Notion page called Home, and I will go ahead and add a new database. By the way, one important thing to remember about the Notion API is that this is called a database, not a table, calendar, board, gallery. These are just different views of a database, okay? For this example, I will use the table view since it makes it easy to see all our data. I will name this database website leads. And now what I need to do is define some properties that will allow me to add my form data to this database. I already have a property of type text for the name and that's where the person's name will go. I want to add an email property for the email. Now the next field that I have on my form is a multiple choice with the three different services I'm offering. I think it will be nice if in my Notion database I have a property of type select and I also have three different options, the same ones that I have on my form. I can also give them colors. Okay, finally, I want to have a property of type text where I want to add the project requirements that the person submits. Great, my database is ready. Now, I will head back to Integromat and I will click on this Add button here that will allow me to attach a new module to my scenario. Since my goal is to add a new page to my Notion database, I will search for the Notion app and then select the create a database item module from the list. Now the first thing I need to do here is create a connection with my Notion account. So I will click on the add button, enter a connection name of my choice, click continue and then on the window that pops up I will click allow access. Once again make sure that you're already signed in to your Notion account in order for this to work. Great, so the connection has now been established. Now the way that you can allow Integromat to have access to a page of your workspace is by clicking on the share button. And then by clicking on this field, you can select to invite Integromat. Basically, I have now allowed Integromat to read and edit this page for me, which means that I can also read and edit the database I have right here. Now, if I go back to my Integromat module, the first thing I need to do is select my database from the list. There it is. And as you can see, we now get a list with all the property fields that are part of this database. Obviously, I don't want to enter any data manually in these fields because for every database page I create, I want to add the data I receive from my type form module. To achieve this, I'm going to use a process called data mapping. As you can see, when I click on one of these fields, I get a pop-up which lists all the data elements retrieved from the Typeform module. Basically, these data elements contain the data that we can see on the output window right here. So if I want this field to contain the data of one of these elements, I can simply click on it to assign the data element to the field. Okay, so for the name property field, I want to add the value of the answer to the name field of my form, which I can get from the name data element under the mappable answers collection. Great, 
For the email, I want to add the email data element from here. For service, I first need to select this map option right here so I can enter a value in the field. And then map the service data element from the type form module. Finally, I will repeat the same process for the project requirements field. All right, our automation is now fully set up. I will go ahead and save this scenario and then test it. I will click run once to execute it. And as you can see, the type form module is waiting for data. I will visit my website once again and submit some example data. And as you can see, the scenario was successfully executed. Now I will head over to Notion to see if a new page was created in my database. And there it is. As you can see, all the data I submitted on my form have now been organized right here. Great. So that's our first automation with Notion. I hope this is useful and can help you bring all the data from your forms right inside your Notion workspace. Of course, feel free to switch type form with any other form software of your choice, such as Google Forms, for example. The process will be the same. Now, before I end this video, I want to let you know that I actually released a course called Notion Automation Mastery, which as its name suggests, is a course that has one aim, and that is to make you a master at building automations with the Notion app, so you can integrate all your favorite apps together, save tons of time and become more productive. I will put the link in the description for you to check it out. Other than that, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the new Notion automation videos that I will be releasing. Hit the like button if you found this video useful and let me know in the comments below what do you think of Notion and what are some of the workflows you would like to automate. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video.